Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 11th of February 1812, Massachusetts Governor Elbridge Gerry signed a bill that redrew electoral boundaries in the first example of gerrymandering. Elbridge Gerry was an established politician who'd signed both the Declaration of Independence and the Articles of Confederation and then served in the House of Representatives before being elected Governor of Massachusetts in 1810. During his second term, the state legislature was dominated by the Democratic-Republican Party, of which Gerry was a member. Seeking to weaken the Federalist Party in the forthcoming senatorial elections, the legislators redrew the district boundaries to concentrate the Federalist vote in a few districts and spread their own across many. Having consequently sliced up the Federalist stronghold of Essex County, the final bill presented strangely shaped districts that later became the target for both criticism and ridicule. According to his son-in-law, Jerry himself was reluctant to sign the bill into law, but did so on the 11th of February 1812. Six weeks later, on the 26th of March, the Boston Gazette published a picture which portrayed a map of the new Essex South District as a monstrous salamander with teeth and claws. The term gerrymander is therefore a portmanteau of Elbridge Gerry's surname and salamander. The cartoon appeared in the Gazette with gerrymander as its title, though who coined the term itself is unknown. It has nevertheless become the common way to describe the redrawing of electoral boundaries that give an advantage to a political party. Such redistricting continues to be a popular way to dictate electoral outcomes. In the case of Jerry's party in 1812, they won 29 seats to the Federalists' 11.